But in response to the BE imperative that uh, existed and, and still does exist in the country, UDECO restructured in 2007 by introducing a fully leveraged BE uh, structure and uh, BE shareholders. There were some tax law changes that meant that the preference dividends would become taxable. <coughs> Fully taxable, not, not dividends withholding tax, but full tax. Uh, but we had a solution to this. However, in November 2012, SARS sent us a notice outlining a whole structure that lay behind our BEE transaction. And that came as a complete surprise to Hudega. In the light of this new information, we decided not to implement the solution to the new tax on the dividends that we thought that we were going to. And instead, we exercised our rights to ask KDs to gross up the dividend on the preference shares uh, to leave us in the same after-tax position as we would have been had the new, uh, or had the tax regime not changed. KDs had an option to either do that or to redeem the preference shares instead, and they chose to redeem the preference shares. Once they redeemed the preference shares, Morgan Stanley lost their security in the form of those preference shares. And so they put the debenture, the Hudeco trading debenture that they were holding, they put it to Hudeco. And the upshot is that the BEE structure has been financed internally since the 28th of February 2013. We cannot conduct a tax case in the public eye, in the public domain. So we'll tell you what's going on uh, as, as much as we can. Uh, but when it comes to things like speculation and what might happen, what might not, might not happen, uh, we, we haven't dealt with that at all. We have no knowledge and we have no suspicion of these whatsoever, and we're confident that we can refute the assessments that have been really done. However, the assessments <coughs> for the years 2007 to 2011 total 1.9 billion rand, and that includes interest and it includes penalties at 200%, um, and it also includes some double counting, which we'll talk about just now. <coughs> so we've reflected in our announcement a contingent liability of 1.6 billion, and that is without the double counting, so we've pulled that out. And we've also brought it up to date on the assumption that SARS will take the same view right through to when the structure was uh, uh, brought in in-house. As far as the pay now, argue later issue is concerned, we have reached agreement with SARS whereby we will pay 20 million rand per quarter starting in July uh, until such time as the legal process is concluded. And um, to the extent that that is in, that, the, that we find that it's found that we don't have to pay as much as we, we have paid, paid in, uh, that will be refunded to us with interest. So it's a payment on account. It is not payment of any liability.